realize that we've relinquished a lot of our tasks to technology. And therefore, we have to say, well, if we're not doing those tasks, what are we doing? Well, some of the things we're doing is utilizing technology to expand our capabilities. And we are increasing our tolerance for the risk and uncertainty that is around us when we step beyond what we normally are doing and expand our expectations of what is possible. And we are here to reclaim the power of our ingenuity, to know, to be, and create, and to build community. How important is it for us to open up our tolerance for risk and expand our sense of what is possible and live in what I call the scary region of life? And this is what Ginny told me. Yes, and what happens once you accept that scary area and you step into it, amazing things start to happen and connections and interactions and growth it just accelerates you don't have to work at it it takes you with it the purpose of this particular session is to enable you to have to better perceive information technology as your teammate and you will learn how to use and improve uh, these technologies in teamwork and creativity and to lift communication to the level of conversation the ability to communicate on a one-on-one -on -one level and human interaction. And we kind of lose that sometimes when we think about um, the electronic world that we live in. You have to work together with other people. And that's a piece that we don't teach. And I think that that's a piece that's going to become even more important if we're going to... Um, if we're going to survive as a society, and I know that sounds like a real strong statement, but I really believe that because if you just have these 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 moles, if you will, these lone scientists or or engineers or individual anywhere in society, but let's take the scientist and engineer working just by themselves from their home. Um, where's the connect? Where's where's the fabric of socialization? I mean, I think it'll fall apart. People need that human interaction. And I think that we need to um, help people do that. And they, they found that the motivations coming out of the home were, were difficult to... Uh... Right, when they were just connected by a computer or a telephone. Well, in the interactive age, you can sit at home now and you can see people. I mean, you can turn on your PC and you can talk to your colleague in France. Or you can talk to your colleague down the street. And, and so um, that communication piece and actually being able to talk to them real time face to face is going to be there and people are going to be sitting off at home instead of in a physical workplace but they're going to have that face to face interaction with all these people and be able to work on problems that way and I think that the skills, the, the human skills of being able to interact are going to be real, real important and we don't teach that.